If you're the UK's next head of state, what goes on a royal tour of Canada doesn't necessarily stay on tour. Prince Charles's private words have gone global today as he inadvertently stepped into the diplomatic world's most sensitive situation. At this event at an immigration museum on Monday, the heir to the throne was reported to have told a former Polish refugee to Canada that Hitler's actions prior to World War II were not unlike what Putin is doing. The Russian president is in China and hasn't responded yet. Our deputy prime minister has been quick to play Charles's comments down. I've got absolutely no problem at all with the idea that the members of the royal family, like anybody else, have views. And in certain cases might have very strong views. Um, but I just don't think it helps at all to then start speculating what might or might not have been said in a, in a conversation which was clearly intended to be private. It's closed gates and tight lips here at Clarence House, the Prince's official residence. They say there's simply nothing to discuss here. But Prince Charles's critics say that he's unelected, but he's very high profile, and that means he needs to keep out of the business of government. If indeed anyone made that sort of statement, that would be evidence of uh, complete ignorance, bad taste. What is proposed seems to me like a monstrous carbuncle. No one's ever doubted that Charles has opinions. He's been vocal over the years about the kinds of architecture he likes and about the way our rivers should be maintained. This was his opinion on the Somerset Levels flooding earlier this year. But has he waded in too deep this time? I think that's going to be the biggest, biggest challenge for the Prince of Wales when he becomes king to withhold those views or, or keep those views a bit more privately in the way that the Queen has done. And that is the biggest difference between the two of them. The Queen has no less views than the Prince of Wales, but she keeps those views very close to her chest so that people actually don't know what she thinks of politics or many international figures. And that's the way it should be for a monarch, for a head of state. Back in 2003, it was all pretty affable between Putin and the Prince. The atmosphere may be different next month when Charles and Camilla are scheduled to pay the President another visit.